Hello and welcome to Jagavision episode 85. Um, we are in our final uh, uh, show of the year. Um, 85 is going to be the last of 2021 and we'll see you again in 2022. It's going to be a really short show today. Um, we're just kind of wrapping things up here and I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, take you and uh, ideally um, uh, Sherry Ann from Sister Speak if I can get her on the call. Um, on how we make a uh, eggnog matcha latte um, uh, here at Jaga Silk and sort of run you through that and see if uh, it's something that can work for you. Um, you can check out previous episodes uh, by going to our YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, amazing. Just uh, click subscribe and, and, and turn the bell on for notifications and you'll know when we go live. Um, but we generally go live every, every Thursday at 1 o'clock. Uh, I think we've only missed three weeks in three years or two years. How long have we been doing this? 85 weeks. I don't know. I can't do math. Um, anyway, it's a long time. Um, we've had some amazing guests on the show. You can go back and watch us uh, interviewing farmers from uh, live from origin in Japan and in China and in, 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 uh, in India. Uh, we've had industry folks uh, on from uh, amazing uh, tea companies around the world. Um, we've had some uh, incredible industry folks in uh, the niche that we seem to wholesale to the most uh, often, which is these specialty coffee shops. Um, and that's been lots of fun, just talking about the flavor journey, flavor enthusiasm. Um, we've also just random shows. Uh, I had a fellow on from CPS Mastering, I remember, um, talking about my album and the mastering process and just drinking tea and, and going over that. You can check out um, that episode by going, yeah, CPS Mastering. Um, lots to check out so go and, and and research and look look around um you can also go to jagasilk.com sign up for jaga spam and uh you'll get a newsletter with uh letting you know uh what's coming up um and also uh what's sort of happening here at jaga silk um because jaga silks what are we at we're at year 17 and we've been doing a lot of fun stuff uh, most recently uh we've been toasting our own Tencha and Sencha. Uh, so if you've caught some episodes where we're finished firing our tea, I've been really, really excited about that. So anyway, let's see if I can't get um, Sherry in on the line. Hmm. Let me see. Okay. Maybe she's trying to, to join in. Give me a second. Just gonna see if I can't get her on. I mean, it's so oh, there she is. Okay, awesome. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, Sherry Ann. It's like crazy, crazy effect. I think what happened is my, I dropped uh, at the airport the other day. Somehow I pulled my phone out. Uh huh. And and uh, out of my pocket, and it had, oh, now that's working. It had a big crack in it. Okay. So it was right over the camera lens. So you get this nice glare. Yeah, beautiful. I've had that happen before. Are you able to tilt really? your phone sideways and rotate it to the, the landscape screen? Like that? Perfect. Yes, awesome. That shows up on Jagavision a lot nicer. Beautiful. Thank you for coming on for our last show here. Uh, Sherry Ann from Thank Sister you. Speak. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be making some some eggnog matcha lattes. It's gonna be a pretty short show today. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe before we get into the making of it, maybe you can tell people uh, a little bit about what's going on in the world of Sister Speak, and then we can uh, get into some matcha. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm I'm sitting here with some vegan eggnog and uh, just pondering life for the next few months. Um. Sure, yeah. yeah, I don't have any shows. Uh, the ones I did have got canceled. Right. Um, with the new restrictions. So, um, yeah, just yeah. really excited to work on the album release and drink lots of tea. Uh, set a work schedule for myself with uh, with music and um, uh, be at Dragasilk a little bit this year. And I'll be doing the month, month uh, week the back porch sessions uh, Thursdays. Still, we just did one uh, outside in the cold. It was minus one. <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to do a little um, uh, that digital music festival I was talking about. And maybe see if Tolling can come on and yeah, and yeah. I can get uh, Charles on, and we can just do like a Truth and Dolphin Sister Speak uh, 
accordion and rock and just like all these people performing from their rooms uh, during this uh, next phase in the in the battle against coronavirus. I'm super down with that. Yeah, I'm just, it's a, uh, it's um, yeah, you know, I'm just, I kind of purposely made BC home for. Can't open this water bottle. It's hilarious. I don't have any hands. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I've kind of made BC home during this, knowing that winter is always unpredictable. You know, during the totally. pandemic. You're so I'm really excited to be back. Your screen's wobbling around quite a bit. I don't know if there's any. Way to... No worries. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I think it's stabilizing. That's a beautiful bowl. Um, you know, it's an interesting. Uh, it's an interesting time. Um, there because we go. <laughs> it feels like uh, we've been here before because we have. But I don't know. I I, I, I I'm feeling a lot more. Um, Maybe because we faced it before, I feel a lot of hope that it's all good. We'll just, you know, it's just yeah. we're kind of getting used to it. Hey, just like okay, everything that I was planning on is <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So yeah, well, just gonna I luckily, do something else. <laughs> yeah, and luckily I didn't make too many plans. But like, right. <laughs> I kind I, of saw this coming. I was like, it's probably. I, I played like honestly, I played like a handful of outdoor uh, indoor shows, obviously on my California tour and. Level of anxiety as a musician playing inside was very high. You don't know who's gonna who's when they're coming that close. You don't know who's been where. You've got different countries to go to, different states to go to. You, people you're interacting with, there's just like more responsibility. You don't want to be bringing any COVID anywhere, getting so, it, giving it, and so that level feel, of interaction. Uh, you probably feel safer on the airplane than you do on the stage, hey? Uh, on the actual stage itself, I feel extremely <laughs> safe. Right, cause but what after the show is it, when you're not like a, a a really famous established act that's playing a stadium, right, or like a massive venue, there's not really anybody um, putting regulations in place for you. Yeah. So I have to do it myself and make agreements with every venue in every city that has different guidelines, and it's exhausting. I can only imagine. Yeah, we're very. Um... Um, I was uh, saying this the other the other day that I haven't left Vancouver Island since the pandemic started. So that's yeah. Uh, I, and I'm a, I'm normally you know going over monthly to Vancouver for for a meeting with clients and visiting family in the Okanagan and traveling to Japan and you know like I, I do a lot of travel in my life and so this is probably the longest I've stayed put in one area in my entire life. My yeah. entire life. Yeah. It's kind of a, a amazing. And uh, we we almost opened up. Uh, I was kind of if in and on uh, maybe maybe just having like one or two people in you know might be okay but um we did let in like some 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 closer friends and some regular customers um if they were really careful um and i'm just really glad that we've kept the system that we have in place because yeah you just never know what's around the corner <laughs> i've been saying this to people they're like so when are you opening up i'm like well you know the teeter-totter of opening up and then making this whole like system of people being here versus servicing outside it's like it's a lot i don't know if uh if uh, I weren't running a shop, I wouldn't necessarily key into that. Like if you had a restaurant and you want to do door service out the door versus having people come in and sit down and have a meal, it's a completely different way of organizing your flow. And that's a lot of uh, trial and error and, and, and to build in efficiencies and make that work. So it's, it's, it's a big deal to, to switch and toggle back and forth between those two service types. And so I just find it way simpler <laughs> to just go with, with, with certainty. I, I find that I am a big uh, appreciator of, of, of as much certainty as I can find. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty shocked that like we were able to do this tour in the first place. I was surprised that it happened. And I was like, I wonder when the next thing's going to happen. And it was like right in the middle of our tour, like I think on our like second to last show, between the fall, either like, you know, shows on the East Coast of USA in the fall, then Costa Rica and California at the end. Yeah. And it was right during our second to last show that people started getting freaked out. About and Omicron. like, yeah. No. And well, it, it wasn't, and a first case in California was announced during our tour. Right. So, like, <laughs> after they kind of shut down everything and the WHO was like, it's way too late. There's nothing you can really do. And um, just, you know, I think this is just reinforcing the point that, you know, rather than boosters upon boosters upon boosters it's about uh distribution 
uh, worldwide distribution of the vaccine. And so, so the whole I, I, world, oh, the whole world, that is like the, and they've said it over and over again, but it's definitely, um, it's definitely uh, something that, that doesn't make sense if, if the vaccine distribution is powered by the profit motive. If we can have a distribution that's powered by this desire to end the uh, pandemic for the greater good of world society, then, or at least uh, make it a little bit more livable world, it's going to involve that. It's like a, it's a worldwide yeah. distribution, right? So it's, it's a, it's a challenge. Cause I think that if you were the one who like invested a bunch of money into it and you want to make a bunch of money back from it to be able to make, it, it doesn't make sense. But if you just look at it very holistically and talk about economic shutdowns and all this stuff, um, and rather than just even, even caring about economics, just like human life period, which is more valuable um, than anything. And, and that is, yeah. uh, yeah, something has gotta, gotta hopefully turn the tide. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Keep on, yeah. keep on on. <clears throat> um, anyway, terrible segue, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Oh, I got these. I have the most wild setup. That is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I'm like super, super into this. This is a, um, Mino Yaki. So it's made in Gifu. Um, and, and they have over 400 years, uh, of traceable history making ceramics, um, if wow. not longer. Um, but as Mino, it's 400. And then uh, this green glaze was apparently brought over by, the, I think it was the Dutch, um, and they would call it oribe, the old Japanese word for oribe, which we translate, which is the transliteration of the English word olive. Um, wow. So oribe, I think it comes from English. It might be Dutch. Who knows? <laughs> you don't know what word they, what what uh, culture they got it from. So let me see. Do you know bowl. what bowls these are? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but oh, these that's are gorgeous. Yeah, that one on the right, or my right, your left, that's uh, cherry blossoms. That's a really great bowl for oh, um, cool. for, the, for the springtime. And then that one's a good one for the winter, oh, like if sorry. you were going to choose. But I, yeah, that, that's awesome. Okay, <clears throat> so um, what you want to do is you want to preheat your bowl. Oh, okay. And you want to, in a perfect world, um, you'd be able to steam up your milk. Um, so if you're at, watching from at home and you want to make yourself an eggnog matcha latte, you want to go and you want to drop in um, <laughs> two thirds organic milk or milk alternative. And then okay. you want to you wanna put in one third really rich and creamy eggnog. So if you are okay. using a milk alternative eggnog, it might not be as creamy. So I don't know if this ratio will work, but you can try it. You, it. you might actually find that if it's a milk alternative, just use it um, in it, like don't even s cut it at all. Okay. Um, hi, um, sorry, I just wanted to show you this setup that I have here. It's yes, so sure. epic. Um, so I've got all this stuff here. It's like the temperature kettle. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Here. I've got the steamer for the latte milk. Um, okay. I've got whisk, epic bowls. I've got milk. I've got vegan milk and other milk. I've got this epic scale here. Um, so I don't good. know if we can see, see, see it all very well, but... It's uh, quite the setup. That's awesome. So you're ready to rock every... and roll. Yeah, you can, you can, you could, you could, you could power a cafe. <laughs> I, I could. <laughs> um, you know, uh, what I like to do is, um, um, whenever I'm making a drink, uh, I, I love to have that kind of setup to just be like ready to go. Um, there's a term in 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 in, in sort of kitchen training, and kitchen processes called mise en place, having all your ducks in a row, and I, I love to just have that ready. So like. Part of mise en place for me is definitely preparing the milk. So I, I, I prepare the milk in the steaming picture before I start making the shot. You know, I have a nice, okay. I have a nice warm um, bowl. I make sure that I have my tools. So I have my chasen, I have my sieve, I have my spoon, and then I'm not running around searching for it if I'm in a in in, in busy bar service. If I'm at home, it's just nice anyways. It like adds to the ceremony of preparation. Just like yeah. before I begin, I have everything that I need. And then I, I initiate the process. Um, and okay. just, it makes for like a nice full circle. So we often talk about in tea training um, that step one is mise en place. 
Step two is to dose. So you want to make sure that you dose your tea um, and okay. uh, dose, oh, okay. dose, dose your water. I have the, uh, um, I think that I'm going to be making one for mom as well. Okay. And I think she wanted to try the suhu hikari okay. as an eggnog. Amazing. Is that a single? Um, single estate. Okay. Matcha suhu hikari. I didn't know that I sent that to you. Um, that uh, when did I send that? Uh, it just arrived today. Oh really? Okay, awesome. Okay, that is freaking unreal. So that is um uh, uh that uh, I'm excited because I'm actually drinking that too. And I uh, oh yeah, and that's actually what I wanted you to drink. Um, so <laughs> this is this is this is uh, fired by me on my on my tea roaster. Or on the Ooh. Jagasoth tea roaster. Um, you should see the excitement the, in the room right now. It is so I'm so stoked, and and uh, and I felt like this was like the bomb. Uh, uh, the flavor depth that it was able Ooh. to to come out of this this toasted, like and for those watching, Finnish firing is uh, uh, normally done at origin. So when we think that we're putting it in a tea roaster, there might be this assumption that it's going to be all brown and stuff. Um, you've managed to put the tin right in front of the camera lens, so we can't oh. see you. But, <laughs> 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 but, uh, but essentially, uh, finish firing happens at origin, um, and we've asked the farmer, this time Mr. Takaki, to send us some tensha that had not been finish fired. So it's kind of like getting croissants that were par-baked, and then baking them off yourself in your own shop. Does that make sense? Uh huh. That's on. That's epic. And so it's like it's brought to the point right where it's about to get toasted, but we did the toasting here instead. And Mr. Takaki was on the phone with me using a video call to kind of guide Mew and I in the setting the RPM, so the rate rotations per minute of the drum. And then we um, we also talked about a roast curve, so uh, settling on particular um, temperature goals. Uh, during that process because you want to bring it to a particular temperature and it was really interesting is that you 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 bring it up for like uh, like two minutes at the end after you've kind of toasted it for a while and it like produces this bouquet of aromatics it's just blowing That's your what mind we're experiencing right, right now i've got uh, oh Isn't we've that got amazing? a we've got a couple of us in here in the room and we're just like blown away with the chocolate yeah right what, like, what do you taste over here i ever smell yeah. There's no hay. There's um. There's chocolate. Yeah, it's like I'm. Yeah, so it's like very, very, very. Well, it shouldn't. I mean, if there's hay in your your matcha, it means it's oxidized. So if there's hay in the matcha, it's oxidized. There's no hay. Good. <laughs> so it's fresh. It I is. can't even. <laughs> so. Oh, I. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Uh, malt candies. Nice chocolate malt candies. I'm into that. I don't even know how I can possibly even make the drink right now with how good the aroma is. I can't I know, even get right? past the aroma. It's so amazing. So okay, I know so you're kind of in a hurry today. So you want me to get the milk going first, right? Well, I just want it portioned out and ready to steam. And in your situation, you're gonna be cooking on the stove top, so you might as well just start cooking it. Yeah, for sure. No, well, I've got a I've got a latte spinner. Yeah, sweet. Okay, awesome. Then just portion it out um, into whatever you're going to steam it in. And then so, um, and then you go into the, the dosing, which is 2 grams of tea, and it's 30 grams of uh, temperature-controlled water. Uh, we're shooting for 65 degrees centigrade because this is a southern selection, and therefore it likes a slightly hotter temperature. Okay. And so I'm doing a mix of right now. I'm just getting the... Milk and I'm doing. I'm gonna do like kind of a half and half milk and eggnog, because I have a vegan eggnog and a regular milk. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Do you think? I think it's gonna be fine. It won't taste like what I'm having, um, but it's it's, yeah. it's gonna be amazing in and of its own right. So I'm using cow milk. I got this uh, organic cow milk, and I'm really excited about this. This is uh, this is made um, uh, by our friends over at Fullet B. So it's an it's a handmade uh, eggnog. Um, so there's no like carrageenan or anything in the ingredient list and it's hard to get um eggnog that doesn't have all sorts of thickeners and emulsifiers in it so you know my yeah. this is my second favorite eggnog i've ever had my first favorite is making it from scratch that is definitely the best Ooh, i can't seem to get the matcha through this really thin sieve. 
you should be. Oh, yeah, you can. That's a super fine sieve. That's a double oh. wall sieve. That doesn't work for this. That's meant for um, for CTC uh, and for uh, for f uh, fine uh, like tees that are a little bit more fragmented. But it's too okay. fine. It's too fine to push through the matcha, for sure. I'll put it through this one then. It's this is the only uh, the next size we have. We don't have like a medium. Yeah, it'll work. That's like the sieve that we used to use before we started using this uh, this sort of finer than that one sieve. That's that's still okay. a really good sieve that you're using there. Okay, okay. I, I actually got it at I bought it at Marshalls. Nice. So, um, two uh, grams. then I would say it's similar to the one that we're using. <laughs> uh, it's uh, <laughs> two grams, uh, thirty mils of water or thirty grams of water on top. That's the standard that we use for making sort of a base for uh, for for our 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 milk drinks, and then you're going to whisk it up like you would a traditional. Um, and that's the third part of the process. So whenever we're doing tea training, it's mise en place, dose, make, and clean. So if you can oh. kind of go through that, those four, you go full circle. So get everything ready, weigh everything out, start making it, and then clean up your mess and enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah. so I've got this. I've got the, I've got the, hey, you can actually see me on camera this time for once. <laughs> totally. Making it. Yeah, this is amazing. This is good. You know I got a new setup. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Yeah. I got the, they're going through the sieve. Good, good, good. Um, and then should I get the milk going now? Because it takes, it takes about two minutes to steam it. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm going to go and get a cup um, as well, and uh, I'll steam up my milk. Okay, and I got my temperature at water at 65 degrees. Is that right? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, just a sec. Okay. Oh, I can do I can do a double matcha shot. Oh. Okay. Those are beautiful. Okay, well, maybe I'll make the shot. What's up, JV? Oh, I gotta pour a little hot water over the. Oh, no. Over the. Okay. 30 milliliters hot water. Okay, and if I were really on my game with my mise en place, I would have had my cup already. Ah. That's that's so gonna, that's what thirty I'm, milliliters of water, right? Thirty mils or thirty grams of water. That's right. And then I whisk away. Whisk away. Fifteen seconds of agitation is an ideal agitation time, and you want to, um, yeah, whisk away. Um, then I like to once I've made my shot, I would always pour the shot into my drinking cup. Okay. And you, the only time you would drink out, out of that bowl after whisking in it is if you were making it as a traditional you wouldn't want to put milk okay. you wouldn't want to put milk in a bowl like that how about a bowl like this which one? Oh, that's beautiful yeah that's really nice yeah i would transfer the shot into that and then i would uh i would i would pour my steam milk on top okay that's what's happening shot transfer boom and then I can make another one. Bam. Okay. And then and, the steam uh, milk It in does taste head. nice um, to just pepper on just a little bit of cinnamon before you, you pour okay. in your, 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 your eggnog, your steamed eggnog. But it's it's kind of, that's sort of to taste. Okay. I have actually like an assistant at Mom's Cafe right now. Amazing. Oh, so we're going to get some pepper and cinnamon happening. Um, well, just, I'm just warning. Pe pe pepper on some cinnamon. Don't actually add pepper. Oh, you pepper on cinnamon. No pepper. That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, I've got some cinnamon here. Amazing. Okay. Organic? <laughs> I love how the bowl Green go sense. It's right in front of your face again. <laughs> is this cinnamon? This is like epic cinnamon. Like, this is like next level cinnamon right here. That's Sorry. A, I know. We, we can't see. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Awesome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good. That's good stuff. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I should get another shot going because I'm gonna be making a few here. Yeah, you got a full uh, process happening. But this is 
this is essentially a process. You make a shot, you steam up some eggnog, you pour it on. It's the easiest thing, really. I just find that if it's uh, when uh, normally eggnog is too rich to steam up nicely and have an enjoy, it's 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 I think unenjoyable as a latte. So to make oh, it work, okay. it really helps to do uh, two thirds um, um, uh, whole milk and one third of a really good eggnog, and then you're you're, okay. you're generally going to be in a good place. So, cool. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, I'm still waiting for the milk. It's still steaming. Well, I'm excited to get your response to how it tastes once you finish making the drink, and then we'll uh, yeah. then we're gonna call it a call it an afternoon. Yeah. Um, but um, while we're uh, while we're waiting for you to finish um, heating up the milk there, um, I'll just um, tell everybody um, to 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 go on to um, jagasilk.com and and sign up for Jagaspam and check out our YouTube channel. Um, there's lots of um, preparation instructions. Um, you can, um, if you're in the in in the city and you're trying to pop by Jagasilk, just know that uh, we are closed um, from 2 p.m. tomorrow. Um, we are. Uh, look at that, Shazam! <laughs> so just be. Oh be, <laughs> dang! Yeah. So if uh, if you're ordering online um, and you order uh, outside, uh, essentially. Ooh, yeah, I don't even know if we'll be doing shipping tomorrow. Well, you know what? If you ordered today, we would ship out for sure. Um, okay. but, but you wouldn't see anything ship next week. So the next time you would actually see something ship out is when we get back, which is um, the, the second week of January. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but if you are ordering, you should get some, some, some Tsuhikari single cultivar, I think, because that's the stuff that I, that I toasted. Um, and I'm really Hello. stoked about that. Also, all the sencha moving forward, the sencha yabukita will be toasted at Jaga Silk. So we'll have the sencha, oh, and then a whole bunch of the tencha selections will also be toasted here. Um, so wow. that's, that's going to be um, amazing. I mean, if you want to go, uh, if you want to go check out Sister Speak, wh where should people go? Just uh, sisterspeakmusic.com. Is that correct? Yep, that's the one. Mm. Um, I'm almost done here. I, I just did. I don't know if you have to go, but I. It's gonna be like another ninety seconds. I want to see you drink this drink because <laughs> I'm excited. I accidentally made the first batch with regular milk because we were talking about regular milk. I see. I see. I'm okay. Make the other one afterward, but yeah, I'm, so, I'm totally understand. I think you have some uh, some some people in the crowd that uh, that won't mind having the regular milk, right? Yeah. If anybody's around in the crowd here. Matcha's ready. <laughs> um, so if you um, um, want to have a a little bit of a uh, what is it? Um, a little you can you can also spike this drink and 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 it, it, oh. it it's pretty yummy with with some uh, some rum, um, but just a little bit, just a twitch. Um, but I'm more of a matcha and eggnog kind of guy, just on its own. If I'm gonna have it, you know, it's kind of interesting because it's there's a little bit of a joke in the industry about um, just eggnog lattes in general. Because generally speaking, you can't taste the base. So if you have like an eggnog coffee latte, you just can't taste the coffee. It's more just to have some fun, and and I think you can go into a place where you're like, oh, that's kind of lame. Uh, yeah. Can't taste the coffee. Why would I make the drink? And I always love uh, it when this time of year comes around and I'm making some drinks like this, where it just reminds me. That it's important to also just have fun, right? And to not uh, get too caught up in um, making everything absolutely classic and all about um, simple flavors, which is where I tend to gravitate. I have to remind myself that <laughs> exploring the other ex extremes is really, uh, really, really uh, good, good for the good for the soul. <laughs> well, well, we have a member of the of the room at Southern Comfort. Or? Oh. <laughs> Coin, Cointro. Okay, all right. Cointro with orange essence. That sounds like and it would taste pretty amazing. I I probably keep it to about fifteen grams, maybe thirty grams max. But just, uh, just a dash, and it, apparently it's unbelievable. That's great to hear. So that's uh, a little edit for those watching. There's uh, a <laughs> wow. Yeah. The the expression, the facial expressions happening in the room right now are like nothing I've seen before. <laughs> a, there is not. There is, is a. This is a crowd a, pleaser of a drink. That's awesome. Absolute bliss happening. In the room. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, my tea's ready. I mean, my, you're my, almost my there. Ready. You're almost there. Oh, it's so close, but you know it was worth it because we got to capture that emotion. Even yeah. though you can't see it, you can feel it on camera. <laughs> Amazing. 
Yeah. I'm actually really excited. You know, tomorrow, um, for those watching that are, uh, if you come between 12 and 2 at Jaga Silk, we're actually going to be giving away uh, free traditional matchas. That's all that's going to be on the menu. It's just free traditional matchas and panettone wow. while, while it lasts. We're going to slice up panettone. We're going to gift that out. So if you are uh, going to pop by, you can, uh, you can uh, totally um, just uh, um, come between that 12 to 2. And then again, we're going to be closed until January 10th. So just, uh, just keep that in mind. <clears throat> and then I okay, guess I got the you get to you get to hang out and drink uh, matcha eggnog lattes and, and and plan the release of your your third studio album, fourth oh album. Oh my god! Yes, uh, this is so good. <laughs> oh my god! It's like chocolatey eggnog. I have this uh, so delicious holiday eggnog mixed with a little bit of um, organic soy milk for this one. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's working. Uh, it's off the charts. It's a coconut eggnog. Okay, amazing. Um, and and you know the uh, one person in the room here typically doesn't like eggnog, and we did a mix of this holiday vegan nog with the milk, and it's with working. the organic, with or the unorganic um, whole milk, and it's apparently unreal. It's and there's hit. an egg. There's, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's episode eighty eighty five, and uh, that's a wrap for the year. Um, so we'll uh, have uh, the next episode, episode 86, will actually be on January the 13th. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and are you doing your show next week? Are you are you continuing through the holidays, your live stream? Or are you going to take Yeah, I'm going to do it. My shows, were, my shows were canceled, so I might as well for sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, awesome. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we can have some tea via your show or something. <laughs> so... Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's let's meet again on my show um, on the twenty. Would it be like thirtieth? Okay, awesome. Uh, my in, in person shows were canceled. I, what a grand finale, by the way. I must say, this is one of the best drinks, one of the most delicious drinks I've ever had in my life. Nice. Um, okay. On so many levels. Uh, the matcha itself is like an epic swirl in this eggnog bliss. Uh, the matcha, I this is one of my favorite matchas I've ever had. Well, eggnog can be so overwhelmingly sweet, and then I think that the bitters in the the matcha actually help curb that a little bit. I don't think you can taste the matcha too much, but it's uh, it's not completely I, not there. You know? I can taste it; it's yeah? perfect. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm having it differently than you, so maybe it's uh, just how it's interacting with my ingredients isn't as much matcha flavor, but it's still present, albeit subtle. So, but I, I think, think that I also didn't mix sweetness. it. I didn't mix it too well, and I added. Um, a little like the bowl's kind of small, so I added only as much um, milk as I could. So maybe have a little bit less eggnog than you have. Fair, fair. Like a like a little bit less. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll see you, or I'll see you next week, I guess, via your show. And uh, and that's it for Jagavision for 2021. Um, Woo! Happy, happy holidays, happy New Year, happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, happy everything. Um, uh, peace and love. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. See you later. Peace and love. Thank okay. you so much. Bye, Sherry Ann. Sister Sue. Bye. Okay. Peace and love. All right. And thank you to everybody watching. Have yourselves um, a, uh, a fantastic, fantastic uh, season. And we'll see you on January the 13th, Thursday, 1 o'clock. Take care. <laughs>